Hi class, welcome to another tutorial on Pandas. This time we will see the data frame slicing, selecting and extracting. So direct to the example. So as now you know, when we select the column genre, we have the data frame and we are selecting the column genre, right? So this is how basically you pick a column. You directly specify a list of columns that you need to extract. As we already saw in the very beginning lecture, Series is something of a single column. Data frame consists of multiple columns. S for single, S for series. Since I picked, see, only one column here, when I do the type of this, you see panda core dot series dot series, right? It's a series. If you want to select multiple columns, you can specify using them a list of list, right? You cannot specify directly using a single column. You have to specify a list of lists. See, the outer one is a list, and within the list, we have multiple lists. Fine. Here I am specifying two columns and now when I look at this, you can see in this case also, you can specify a list of list but only a single column but this will be treated as a data frame, right? Because pandas will treat this as a list of list and take it as a multiple columns, right? Similarly, you can see here I am picking the column genre and rating. You can refer to the Excel file once again. You can see the genre and we have the rating, right, the rating here. So you can see the Guardians of Galaxy, Prometheus, Split, and the ratings here. So you can see by default, the head gives you the top five, and this is how you pick it up. If you remember in our case, we already specified that while importing, the title was to be the index, right? So if you directly specify, pandas will give zero, one, two, three, four automatically, right? So this is how basically you do slicing and all. So now we also look at loc and iloc, right? So these are the two things of, on how we access the data frames. Again, so if you see in this particular case, when I selected only two columns for this subset, we are taking only the genre column and we are taking the rating column, right? Since we have the head of it, we are having only five values. So let us now see what does loc do loc as it says locates by name right very widely used so let us see this one movies underscore da was our original data frame and we say loc of prometheus so that means i want to see all those rows where the index basically is prometheus right so what will happen we have prometheus here let us see this we have the prometheus row here and you can see this entire row will be selected by this particular usage, loc. See, I'm storing prom is equal to this entire data frame and locate Prometheus. So when I execute this, so you can see rank is two, genre is adventure, mystery, sci-fi, description, directors. You can see this entire row is being captured, right? So this is how you capture data using the loc. So let us see actors are these three guys so you can see in the actors you can see these guys right similarly you can see rating is seven so in the rating column we have seven for prometheus you can select any movie for example let us say suicide wall right let me just replace this by suicide wall and again execute so you can see here rank genre rating is 6.2 rating is 6.2 and this is how you can get back to any of the rows that you wish to access. There is another function called iloc. i stands for integer. So locates by numerical index. So as you see in the previous case when we had Prometheus. So if you see Prometheus belongs to second row right. But since the indexing begins from 0 this will be index of 1 right. For human, since we are beginning from 1, it is row number 2, but for computers, it is index of 1. So the same Prometheus can be also indexed by the index value, right? Since it was row 2, which means 2 minus 1, the index is 1. So you can see the output of both the cases are same. So lock and i lock can be thought as similar to Python list sizing. Just like we do Python list, we have 1 to 4 or something like this. So for example, when you use the location, you don't specify integers here. When I'm saying Prometheus up to sing, but not including sing, right? So let us see this. 
okay so in pandas it includes so from prometheus to sing so you can see in this excel from prometheus to sing there are three rows so you can see the subset brings the entire data frame split between this to this now prometheus is row number two to row number four but from indexing it will be one to three right from one to four but not including four same listing rules also the same way we referred less than five things fine so I think that's it for this tutorial. We will see some more ad advanced conditional selections in the next 